Hey everyone, Andy here from TechOBS and today I'll be showing you how you can enable TPM 2.0 on your motherboard, specifically Gigabyte motherboard, since I have a Gigabyte motherboard. But uh, it might be different uh, if you have uh, a different motherboard like MSI or Asus, but uh, it's gonna be somewhere similar in the motherboard settings if you follow the procedures uh, properly. So this error has recently been seen when people are trying to install Windows 11. Uh, the first thing what you want to do is to check if uh, your PC can run Windows 11. So you need to download this app. Uh, I'll uh, give the link in the description, which is PC Health Check. All you need to do is just run it and see if your computer can run Windows 11. So, you know, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, that, uh, that my PC can run, cannot run Windows 11 yet because TPM 2.0 is uh, not enabled. So how do you know if your motherboard has a TPM or not? Well, um, there's actually like, you know, a way to determine it. Uh, that is, if your computer is like built after the mid-2010 or something like that, uh, then there's actually a good chance that your motherboard may have a dedicated uh, micro, uh, dedicated uh, TPM microcontroller inside your motherboard. So um, that's uh, basically a given chance that it might have it, or if it's older than that, then I don't know, it might not have it. But if it's made after the 2010, there's actually a pretty good chance that it might have it. So uh, how you can enable it is, uh, first up, you need to check this uh, by going to TPM dot msc or you can just uh, go to run and type tpm dot msc and as you can see uh, tpm is not enabled yet so all you need to do is to go to bios and enable that and i'll show you right now so you need to restart your computer and once it's turning on you need to press a different key depending on the model of your motherboard so for mine it is the delayed key uh, i'm just gonna uh, click on, I'm just gonna press on the late button and it's gonna take me to BIOS. Uh, it might be different for you, you can try pressing F11, F12 or some keys like that depending on the model of your motherboard. You can just you know uh, do a little research on the model of your motherboard and then uh, once you have gone into the BIOS you need to find uh, the TPM. Uh, so for Intel it should be some uh, it, it should be named something like PTT or uh, if you have an AMD system it should be named as FTPM um, for different models you can try going in advanced and then searching for that uh, but for me I found it in peripherals and then all the way to the top I found a TP FTPM this is basically trusted platform module and so I can just simply enable it from here but yeah it might be and might not be in the same place as you're seeing right here it might be different so you just need to do a little bit digging uh, into these uh, some of these sections that are might be different you need to try enabling advanced mode and then going over there uh, see if you can find it so once you have enabled TPM you just need to restart your computer and BAM you're good to go uh, but if you want to enable secure boot for me it's not really mandatory I guess because it didn't really show I, that I needed to enable secure boot but if you really need to enable it here's how you do it specifically on this motherboard you need to go to BIOS and find CSM support and if it's enabled you need to disable that and then restart your computer so after restarting your computer and then going back to BIOS again you, you should see an option uh, even before the boot uh, called the secure boot option and then what you want to do is to go to secure boot and then what you want to do is change the secure boot mode from uh, standard if it is in standard uh, to custom and then you can enable secure boot all right so after enabling TPM uh, I should be able to meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11 so let's go ahead and check it out and uh, once it's loading, you can go ahead and check it. And uh, let's go ahead and check it out. And as you can see right here, this PC can run Windows 11. So yeah, it was just a TPM issue. You just had to enable it and that was it. And you can also uh, check it out over here by going to run. 
and over here and as you can see TPM is ready for use it is TPM 2.0 as you can see right here so yeah that is how you enable TPM on your motherboard so yeah that is how you enable TPM I hope you guys uh, found anything valuable uh, if you did leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one